Hi guys and welcome back to the MyS YouTube channel with me, Anthony from the UK and, and and Georgia from the US. And today's episode is Cultural Cafe, where essentially we talk about various aspects of Anglosphere culture. Yes, we do. And today's theme, if you'll pardon the expression, <laughs> is about theme parks. Yes. Yeah, which are a very big thing, I think, in most Anglosphere countries now. We have a lot in the UK, you have a lot. Oh, I didn't know you had a lot in the UK. Yeah, we have some oh. big ones in the UK. Um, but we'll be sort of looking at this more from an American perspective. Yes. Um, which, again, we're talking about it, but what is a theme park? Yeah, we Question should probably explain that, right? So it's alternately called a theme park or an amusement park. If you say Luna Park, I think people would understand, but it's not really a theme park or amusement park. Yeah, for me, those two. It's basically a place, a location, outdoors typically, uh, with rides such as roller coasters, Ferris wheels, other uh, thrilling adventures like that, water rides sometimes. Um, and you go with the family to have fun, to, to get exhilarated, uh, to eat junk food. Um, to play games. Adrenaline kick. Yeah, all those adrenaline junkies out there. Um, and yeah, it's basically just a pastime. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite, I don't know, I personally have loved them, so I don't know, I think that it's very, I think they're very common in most countries nowadays. But, I would say so, absolutely. Um, what are the most famous in the US then? Well, the US has, I mean, it's a huge country, we have a ton of theme parks. Um, growing up, you always saw the ads for Six Flags. Um, Six Flags is a huge, uh, it, I think there, how many locations are there? There's 21 theme parks that Six Flags, oh, I did not know that. It's like a chain. I guess so, but it, it's, yeah. they have the most thrilling rides. For example, the King Dakar was, I think, the tallest roller coaster with the highest drop. Um, it opened when I was... A, when I was younger, I remember but the King Dakar, the King Dakar. Um, and we can't talk about theme parks without talking about Florida, Orlando Studios, Disney World. We also have Disneyland in California. Mm -hmm. um, but we also have Hershey Park. Do you know what Hershey Park? After the chocolate. Yeah, Hershey, in Hershey, Pennsylvania, that's the town's name, uh, where the chocolate uh, is it's made. Sure town. Yeah, there is a theme park uh, called Hershey Park with rides, roller coasters, um, and also, yeah, fun stuff to do for the whole family. Wow. I've never very, been very on diverse Mexico. Though. Oh, yeah, a lot. And we also have some lesser known ones and some famous ones. Um, in New York City, where I grew up, on, in Coney Island, I think there's the world's oldest wooden roller coaster that I took again recently. I forgot how terrifying it was. Yeah, broke, broke your spine. I did not have fun. <laughs> Re removed some vertebrae. Yeah, no, in, in the UK, we, we do too. We've got a couple of famous ones. For example, Alton Towers. Um, oh, I've heard famous. of that. And then Blackpool Pleasure Beach is yes. another one, which has got one of the highest uh, roller coasters, I think, in Europe, if Ooh. I'm not wrong. I think maybe it was recently beaten by one in Germany, but, um, but yeah, it's, it's terrifying. Oh my god. Um, which sort of brings me to the next question. Yes. Do you like them? Do I like theme parks? Okay, so I enjoy some aspects of theme parks. I enjoy the food. I like cotton candy, or what do you call that? Candy floss. Gross. Cotton candy, um, fried it's dough, like, yeah, yeah it's it's or like you know, fried dough is also great. Uh, a candied apple now and then. I mean, I like the the, the gross candy junk. apple. A candied apple, yeah. I mean, it'll break your teeth, but it's really it's nice. Diabetes immediately. I like a I like a I like a, a Ferris wheel. I like a merry-go-round, a carousel. Um, I do. I am not an adrenaline junkie. I'm not a daredevil. I do not like extreme roller coasters. Do you? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Mm. Like when they strap if, if you it, in. If it looks safe and it doesn't look like it's just Why? about to collapse in front of me, well, then... Well, I would hope so. Yeah, but I have, I've actually had a situation once where I was... Uh, I, I went... It was actually at Alton Towers, and um, I was on a roller coaster. I and like I, I, I came off the ride. It was a really exhilarating one. You sort of strapped in and in the air like oh that. <laughs> And when I came back down to my family, who were on the ground, one of them held up like a metal bolt that apparently had fallen. While um, you were going around? Yeah, and we yeah, spoke, no, we spoke to the staff, they said it was just something minor. It was oh, normal. totally normal. But still, it kind of stayed in my face. Yeah, so. that is, I mean, no thank you. No thank you. Yeah, but no, no. The adrenaline, I like the adrenaline. I, that, see, I, I'm fine without that. I can live without it. Okay. You're not somebody who, you know, no, 
I'll, I'll watch you go. If I go with people, go have fun. I'll meet you down here. Same but man. I'm not trying to not trying to go crazy. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Such a killjoy. Yep, that's me. Well, thanks for telling us all about that. And thank you. And thank you for watching. Make sure that you hit the bell icon to switch on notifications. And tell us about your theme park uh, experiences. Yeah, any dramatic stories. Any Please. Any that have come flying off your rides. Oh my gosh, that's um, But yeah, give us a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye.